the next thing I'm going to show you to make is a track. Uh, it's just something that the marble can roll down. And there's not a single way to do this, but an easy way to do it is I, I take the slip of paper. When I fold it, I fold it into thirds basically, but when I fold it, the first fold, it's going to come to about here. And so if I were to measure the distance distance from here to here and the distance from here to here, I want them to be about equal. And then I put a crease in there. So I'll hold it up a little bit closer so you see them. So like I said, the distance from here to here and the distance from here to here should be about the same. So the next thing I do is I open it up and I'm going to take this edge and fold it into that crease. Really the goal here would be to have sort of a squared U and you want both of the sides to be about the same height. And then what I can do is I'll add this to the roller coaster, put the marble in there, it rolls down nice and easy. You can add one track to another. If you wanted to add turns to a track like this, you can. So all you'd have to do, if I open it up a little bit like this, you cut through the first crease and right up to the second crease. I don't want to go past it. I can do it again like this. Right through the first crease and up to the second crease. If I wanted to turn it the other way, I'd do it this way. Through the first crease and right up to that second crease. Now, when I tape it, let's say I'm going to have the marble rolling in this direction. I'll probably want, when I overlap it to make the turn, have this one on top. If it was like this, the marble might get stuck. It, it creates a little bump, so I want it to fall down that bump instead of trying to get up and over it. So if I tape this in place, put a turn that way. If I go the other way, like I said, not this way, I want to turn this way. Put the piece of tape on the back. If I want to continue to turn in that direction, So you could also put the tape in the inside, it doesn't really matter. But depends on how neat you want it to look or how strong you want it to be. If you put tape on the front and the back, it's going to be a stronger track than if you just put it on one side. And that's how to make a, a curve in your track. 